Governor Northam surprised a lot of educators today, highlighting a Virginia state law requiring public schools to follow CDC guidelines when it comes to wearing masks in class. And it's going to a shock to some school divisions. News 3's Antoinette Delbell has reaction from local school leaders, plus what could happen if they don't comply. With the start of school just weeks away and with millions of kids under 12, like five-year-old Jamari, still not eligible for the vaccine, some parents concerned about the Delta variant believe masking up in class is the way to go. They did it last year. They should do it again this year. I don't mind the mask, but I prefer a shield better. I mean, mask shield, whatever. I mean, yeah, I'm fine with that. The issue over masks sparking a renewed debate after Governor Northam's COVID briefing Thursday mentioning a new law requiring public schools to follow CDC guidelines, which recently reversed its stance on masks in classrooms, recommending everyone wear them regardless of vaccination status. Northam saying the law is meant to keep people safe, stopping short of enforcing mandatory mask wearing. It's the law of the land and uh, we expect uh, our school districts uh, throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia to follow the law. School boards, including Chesapeake and York County, recently voting to make masks optional, now saying they'll have to rethink their decision. It would require school board vote for it to be uh, changed or overturned. And currently, the deputy county attorney is reviewing the governor's announcement and uh, she will provide counsel to the board, which would determine our next steps. The issue continues to cause division. Masks are an overreaction that we can stand up against. I don't feel like wearing a mask all day. I don't feel like I need to breathe. I think that they should wear them. The better, the safer. And if schools don't comply with CDC guidance, the governor's office says they could be in legal jeopardy. Antoinette Elbel, News 3.